Hey guys, welcome to episode number 131. Today is Monday, so it's update Monday. And I wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update. I'm still unpacking, so uh, I won't show the entire apartment yet. But what I do want to show you is uh, my dry docking setup here for Speedy. Um, I think during the move he got a little bit of skin fungus. Uh, he had a couple open sores, you know, minor scratches uh, or nicks, uh, potentially bites. But, uh, you know, open wounds can uh, develop skin fungus fairly quickly and uh, it's pretty important to take care of it uh, while it's manageable. And uh, the best way to do that is to dry dock your turtle. So what I have here is a 10 gallon tank and uh, this is just a regular CFL bulb just to provide some some light. Uh, but what I have here is a ceramic heat emitter and uh, if we can look up it's just a, a ceramic disc and that's emitting heat uh, into this aquarium to kind of keep him warm. I've got this uh, thermometer off to the side and it's reading about 70 degrees. Uh, I'm sure it's a little bit warmer underneath and uh, a little bit cooler over here to this side. But that ceramic heat emitter is connected over here um, to this temperature controller and that allows me to set my temperature and uh, it'll kick on and off depending on uh, what the temperature is uh, on this probe and the probe is inside the tank there it's positioned just out of his way so he doesn't climb all over it but essentially uh, what I have here is a, a, an insulated tank um, and uh, it's a dry dock enclosure for him so that uh, he can just kind of dry his skin out uh, over the next week or so and in terms of how I'm treating him um, he's got some some white patches uh, sometimes the fungus can appear as some brown patches on his skin this is fairly common with diamondback terrapins especially if they're kept in fresh water which mine are uh, typically in the wild they're in salt water so they have less of these problems uh, in salt water but how I'm treating him is uh, basically to leave him in there for uh, most of the day and uh, once a day when he's nice and dry uh, I'll take him over here and uh, I've got one cup here uh, of just water uh, sterile water and I'll take a cotton ball and I'll just clean off any of the uh, the areas that I'm gonna work on uh, with him anywhere where there's uh, nicks or cuts uh, or fungus that's developing and then what I do is uh, take a little bit of betadine um, you can also get the the uh, you know CVS version here for less uh, but what that is is provodone uh, iodine is like a 10% iodine solution and that basically kills your uh, fungus and your bacteria on contact so it's kind of expensive so I just pour a little bit into a cup like this and uh, then I take my cotton ball and I can dab it and uh, you apply it to the wound and uh, then you know once you've applied uh, the uh, the iodide solution to all of the wounds you can uh, put the turtle back in the dry dock enclosure you can let it dry uh, on the skin for around 45 minutes uh, it kind of discolors the skin for a little while but uh, it's it's okay it's it's doing its its work to uh, to kill the fungus that's on the skin and uh, then what you want to do is after 45 minutes has gone by and it's dried uh, you can take them back out and apply a little bit of Neosporin and what that will do is uh, prevent any other germs and bacteria from entering uh, that area which you've just cleaned. And then you put them back in the dry dock and uh, you let them sit for most of the day. And uh, the important thing here is once a day to, uh, to place them in, in fresh water, sterile water uh, that doesn't have any bacteria from from your uh, your aquarium habitat in it and allow him to drink allow him to eat uh, if, if he wants to eat and uh, and then after about an hour or two of that uh, you'll just put him back in here for the remainder of the day and uh, the idea is to repeat that uh, once or twice a day for a period of around a week and uh, if, if the problem doesn't get better uh, within that time, then it's, it's probably time to go to a vet 
because it can get worse if it gets too deep. Uh, it can cause the turtle to go septic and uh, if that gets into its bloodstream then it can be uh, deadly pretty quickly. So uh, it's kind of a common thing that occurs with terrapins uh, especially but all turtles especially if they're stressed out or if they have open wounds uh, or if you move their aquarium setups uh, you know if, if, your, uh, if your nitrogen cycle resets if you have too much ammonia in your tank, uh, some of those things can get triggered uh, fairly quickly. But I'll just show you guys uh, a little bit more of the, the living room while I'm here, while I wrap up. Uh, this is the living room, and I do have the 125 upstairs in the living room against this wall. This is a load-bearing wall here. Uh, it's the central support beam to the house, so um, it's very stable here. It's actually one of the the levelest, flattest, most stable parts of the house. Uh, as you can see, I've still got a bunch of stuff out, still putting stuff together. So stay tuned for more updates. But for right now, I've got three females in the tank, and I've got one male, Speedy, in the dry dock. So that's what's going on. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any tips on how I can improve my dry dock setup, please let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you guys later.